A very safe and good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindi newspaper for 30th March. On the front page you have, as interstate buses dwindle, migrants are stuck with nowhere to go. So migrants in Delhi who do odd jobs, they have been stuck because of loss of employment in the place, in the city. So they have no means of livelihood and they want to return to their villages now. They cannot afford the means and standard of living in the city. So they have been flooding the, the points where buses would ply to take them to their hometowns in, in to their villages in UP, Bihar and Haryana. But now the number of buses have reduced and hundreds of people remain stranded here. This is the so zero point is the unofficially designated spot on Yamuna Expressway, which links New Delhi with Agra via Noida, where interstate buses usually pick up passengers. And now, central government says that migrant workers will be stopped and quarantined at borders. They will provide be provided with shelters and put in the isolation would be enforced. Home Minister has ordered this to states and union territories. Then here you can see case surge. ICMR denies community transmission, but number of cases have been significantly increasing. Cases in Kerala and Maharashtra have crossed 200 cases as such. On page 5 here you have migrant workers hold massive protests. So protesters in Kerala wanted to go to home states and hundreds of migrant workers staged a protest defying the lockdown in Kerala. On the editorial page, the first editorial is Everyone Counts. So this, article, this editorial talks about how the center must use the opportunity of the pause in NPR to redraft questions which are being put forth in the National Population Registry. So the editorial says that center has done well of putting off the first phase until further orders but unexpected suspension should also open a fresh window an entirely new context for reconciliation between center and states on the exercise of npr etc and second editorial talks of political pardon so it talks about freeing a soldier convicted for massacre which has recently happened in Sri Lanka. This was a soldier convicted of massacre in which Tamils had been killed and he has been freed by Sri Lanka now. So this editorial says that such step by Sri Lanka dashes hope for accountability now. So reconciliation in Sri Lanka still has not taken place. Tamils as, uh, as such in the northern and eastern parts of Sri Lanka even after LTT has been eliminated in 2009 still suffer and there are questions being raised on uh, what happened to those who have been missing so there is uh, there is demand for uh, you know, investigation into that but sri lankan government has been uh, non yielding on these issues then the lead article is the deep void in global leadership so this article talks about how there is yet no comprehensive concerted plan of action by world leaders to combat the pandemic. So global leadership is missing on coronavirus. You can skip this. Then you can see this is looking beyond just diagnosis and quarantine. So this article talks about how there is a need in India for a rapid response research and development team to handle viral, viral onslaught. So we are diagnosing, we are quarantining, but then research and development R&D is required to cure the disease as such. So China has already sequenced the genome of COVID-19 and it has shared the information across the world. But now further, further pharmaceutical development needs to be there, drug needs to be developed. On OPED page, you have uh, an article by Brinda Karat of uh, CPI, she, uh, CPIM. She says that the government must ensure that the specter of SARS-CoV-2 is not replaced by, a spe by the specter of hunger. So the lockdown package has been inadequate um, and uh, we are seeing how migrants are not sure of whether their demands would be fulfilled because they are not enlisted in any of the schemes as such in the place where they are working. So, you know, like for example in Delhi, 
so they they would, are not sure whether they would be getting any the support from the government and they are rushing to their home states on international page you have as the world battles with coronavirus spain recorded daily toll of 838 beijing is also seeing rise in imported cases and many of these cases involve chinese who are returning from other nations and below you have saudi arabia intercepts missile in attack claimed by yemen's houthis so the houthi rebels in yemen have fired missiles on saudi arabia and it saudi arabia says its air defenses intercepted two ballistic missiles and here you have north korea firing two short range missiles it has launched nine projectiles in four rounds this month so this has been decried by south korea is inappropriate amid the global covid-19 pandemic and on business page on mondays you have money wise coverage that can be skipped so that is it these were the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asia.com thank you